Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Raghavind Mishra and in this video we will learn hooks and groups and parallel execution of test in Playwright. In the course of this video we will learn before each and after all hooks, grouping of test, execute test in parallel and additionally we will learn how to record test using Playwright Inspector. A reference website which I am going to use for the test demo is bookcard.azurewebsites.net. So let me take you to this website and uh, tell you what all we are going to cover in, in this video. So this is the website and I'll be adding a couple of books to the cart, shopping cart and then I will go to the cart and place the order. That will be my first test and the second test would be uh, to log in into the web application. So those uh, would be those uh, two test cases and uh, further we would be uh, grouping them and then we will also learn about hooks okay, in Playwright. So let me take you to this. Uh, VS code and create one test file inside a test folder, test directory. So let me name it as hooks, hooks and groups dot spec dot js file. So first thing I would do here is I would import test and expect libraries from playwright package and then I can just write smoke test for feature one and this is the grouping and inside this I can uh, write individual test cases for feature one okay so here what you have to do you have to use fat operator you don't need to go with a sync and all so simply with this you can just write a description for the scenario so this is the first scenario inside which i'll be writing the my first test case adding books to the shopping cart our card then I'll be writing a sync inside this you have to use space fixture and then fat operator so like this and then what you can do you can just write await and you can call the URL which you are going to automate right so we are going to automate book cart as your websites.net so let me call this and let's use playwright inspector uh, to record the test cases okay so i'll be uh, having pause on the screen to invoke playwright inspector and i will just use I will run this so that uh, we can just before that just make sure it is saved and I will just run it and while it is running it will uh, invoke the playwright inspector for us so what we will do we will click on record and we will be adding couple of books to the card and then we will click on the card and here we will check out and place the so it is asking for the credentials so just in case if you have not registered uh, with the site you can go ahead and uh, register yourself so for now i'll be using pass at the rate one two three is the password and i will click on this i will be simply writing rock range and then btm address bangalore pin code five six zeros it can be anything okay or you can just have some dummy uh, values here and then i will place the order so this is my first test which has been recorded okay and then i'll just go to this playwright inspector and copy whole code from here and then i will paste it over here 
okay so whatever is not needed can be removed from here so i'll be removing this these lines and uh, let me just yeah so i'll remove this as well this is required let us scroll up and see what is not needed can be removed we have already and define the page fixture so no need to have these contacts we know the context and then i will remove this code from here all right so with this uh, i have my first case uh, test case ready so let me just run it and to make sure if everything goes fine then we will quickly record the uh, login scenario let's see so we have yeah you can see the first test case is passed and uh, we have the result with us so it has been passed so now uh, time to record the scenario, second scenario all right so similarly i will be having one more um, test block and i'll be using the same we will uh, gradually learn like how to use uh, uh, hooks and how to run those test cases uh, whatever we have recorded parallelly okay so just put your attention over here so this is the second test and we need this one more to close the describe block okay so here this name should be unique so here you are going to log into the application so just make a change just rename it or just make sure i mean you are going to use a different name for the test otherwise it will uh, throw the error and here we will again await and uh, just write pause so for now i can use only keyword uh, so that uh, this will be the only test i mean will, which will be you know executed in order to reduce the time so let me just record one more scenario which is nothing but the login test okay so i'll be recording this so i'll go to the login and then here i will be providing the credentials you can have your own this is my credentials which and i have registered to this site just login and your test is ready you can go to this and whatever is required you can either copy whole thing and paste it over here in the v inside this and just remove these unwanted or whatever is not needed can be removed from the test so again you don't need this browser context and this one this is coming from the uh, our configuration file itself okay so this is the configuration file where we have defined already defined the browser and all okay so here you can remove this thing and we will we are ready with the you know two tests now uh, uh, let me just save and run it and then we will use the hooks here okay i'll show you how to use hooks now we are ready with the two test guys okay so it is telling only one test pass because we have used only so we need to time to remove the only uh, so that uh, both the test gets preferences and preference and we i mean playwright should be able to you know execute both the tests and show us the result guys yeah you can see uh, those two tests are passed with uh, 6.6 second 6.1 second okay so just keep in mind this particular you know time uh, because we are using only one worker node okay and here uh, you would have noticed like we are logging into the site again and again right so and here also in the second test so if we are using we you know like how to use hooks we can uh, probably make sure that uh, this test on uh, this particular you know line or url get invoked every time your test case is uh, is is executed so what i will do i will uh, ra, i will put this line common line or common code in uh, before each so you just want to make sure this gets executed before execution of each uh, test cases so i'll put that common code inside the before each uh, annotation hook basically this is nothing but the hooks okay annotation 
so I will be using this picture here and I will just use this line. I just remove from here and also I will remove this line from here. Okay. So, there are two tests login and adding books to the cart. Okay. So, before execution of these two test cases, this particular hooks will be executed, will come into the picture and will uh, access, will invoke. Uh, Will, will will invoke the browser and access this url okay before execution of the test cases and similarly like after all your test cases are done you might be interested in you know closing the browser or the page right so what you can do you can just have that common code inside after all hook okay so what you can do here is just page dot close okay so this is this can be done now let us see how it goes See, running two tests in one worker node. First test case is executed, second test is executed. So, time taken uh, to execute two tests is 6.7. So, I hope, I mean, this concept is clear to you guys. So, these are nothing but the hooks, okay, before each and uh, after all, okay. So, yeah. So, you would have uh, seen these, uh, you know, hooks or annotation in the uh, test ng. So, similarly, we can use uh, those annotations in Playwright. And now, if you want to, you know, uh, there are two uh, other hooks as well. Uh, so, if you go here and see before or after, right? So, before each, before all, okay? You can uh, use uh, like after each, after all, okay? Based on your requirement, okay? And... Uh, just, just let me know in the comment section if you have any uh, issue using those uh, annotations or hooks. I'll, I'll be able to, you know, I should be able to answer those, you know, queries. And then now time to, you know, uh, uh, do a parallel execution. Okay. So, how you can do the parallel execution? You, so far, we have executed two test cases uh, using one, you know, one worker node. I will, I will show you like uh, it has used only one worker node if you see okay yeah running two tests using one worker <coughs> okay now we will make sure that playwright use its maximum capacity like by adding parallel okay keyword to this so when we add this parallel we are just uh, making sure that the enough uh, you know worker nodes are coming with picture and uh, taking uh, the action uh, i mean like uh, and and uh, executing the test okay we will be executing those tests in parallel okay so more and more working nodes uh, will will be involved see two will be yeah two worker nodes are involved in executing the test so of course i mean this time uh, your your uh, you know percentage you're the power you know the time taken to execute uh, those two test cases has been re reduced have been reduced right so earlier it was taking 6.7 second or something something like that now it is has been reduced uh, right so you see 6.7 and now 6 okay so this is how you can uh, reduce the time taken by the execution uh, uh, i mean when we execute the test in parallel the time Execution, execution time will be reduced okay so this is that so and uh, i think uh, uh, that's all for this particular you know video i hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video so please do like and subscribe to my channel if you have not and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section and i will see you in next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching